lot of our audience right now is watching later. Only a couple of you are tuned in live, and we thank you so much for it, wherever you're listening, however you're watching. Thanks for tuning in. Now, boys, there's good news in the world of apartment rent. Now, you guys, I think you guys are both pretty stable in where you live. Joe, you've been there a long time. Josh, oh, yeah, I think I have. Been there a couple of years, right? Yeah, I um uh, the condo I bought um about two and a half years ago. What I like oh. about the condo, um, and I just discovered it. Uh, the woman above me, <laughs> um, she only speaks Spanish. I don't speak Spanish, so the only thing I could say is, "Oh, gracias, uh, thank you, uh, gracias." Uh, she brought me homemade cake. Um, oh, cool! So that's, that's kind of the beauty. Uh, oh, yeah. you know, being able to live in an apartment or, you know, alleviate the over cost of whatever you might have someone that lives next to you that brings you food. So that's awesome. I I'm the guy who, who brings people food. Are you? <laughs> really? Yeah. Like I, I do. Right. I love to bake. I Dude. love to bake. So I always, and it's only, it's only my wife and I. So whenever I make, you know, like blueberry muffins or banana bread or what, I, I'm always taking it to my neighbors. I'm like oh, wow. knocking on the door. Hey, hey, Huck, you want some of this? <laughs> hey, hey, Anna, you want some banana bread? Where yeah, I'm that guy. I'm an awesome neighbor. Everybody should be my neighbor. I'm, I'm a great neighbor. Dude, that's awesome because I've never been like the type of guy that throws like parties and people knocking on the door saying, hey, can you lower your, like I would, I'm the quietest neighbor, right? Like to the sides, to the left, to whoever. But for some reason, it's always been one of these things where they're like, Oh, are you single? You, I, I, I saw your groceries. You don't have a lot, and they bring me stuff. This woman, this She's beautiful so sorry, God yeah. bless this angel, brings me food, and she brings me cake and pastry, and I'm like, dude, I don't know what I'm doing, but I will do it, Joe. That is why you're the guy I have near me when I'm living in places. That's awesome, Barry. Do you have people like that? I'm the guy. I'm sort yeah, of like Barry's also the guy. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 But uh, it's different okay. for me. I I could I don't bake nothing. I give people raw ingredients. Like I'll have a lot of persimmon and okay. then all the neighbors yeah. will have persimmon, you know? Like like I share the wealth of what nature gives me. Okay. Barry, Barry gave me 10 pounds of raw onions earlier Dude, this betcha. summer. Oh Ten no, it's fantastic. It's really? fantastic. Really? I, I've made French onion soup 3 times already. And yeah, yeah. We still have onions in the freezer. It's, so, it's fantastic. Josh, I love it. Josh, it went like this, man. It was oh, like, wait, you can yeah. put onions in the freezer? Oh, yeah. Yeah. You can you slice them up. See, Barry, them I don't know any of this. Freezer, man. This is awesome. I'm learning stuff. This is great. Yeah. Like, honey, I, I don't know any of this. Well, your neighbor's not going to give you any raw ingredients, man, because you're not going to cook anything. No, <laughs> she's giving me great pastries and Mexican food. I'm okay with that. But no, Josh, like, Joe's like, I would like some onion. And I said, great, how many? And he goes, Damn. how many? He said, like, five pounds. And I'm like, pounds? I'm digging them out of the ground. How many globes of oh onion would you like? They, they were as big as my freaking head. They were yeah, so big. big. That's yeah. insane. That's nuts. Yeah. I, I, and so like when I chopped it all down and I took off all the stalks and all that stuff, I literally had like 11 pounds of stuff. That, it was like 40 pounds raw, but 11 pounds. Yeah. That's down. amazing, Bear, because I see we got some time. Um Joe, let me ask you this. So what I learned from TikTok, Barry, you don't know TikTok, so you don't understand. I will. I refuse. You don't it's understand. Like you don't get it. What I learned from, from, because I'm kind of a nerd from the cutting things, is that apparently when you get these white onions or whatever, apparently you cut the, the eye so you don't actually have your eyes water and you're able to do that. Uh, Joe, are you familiar with uh, the slice I've, of cutting I've, where you're not I, having I, to? I have read about it. Like if you slice from, oh God, what, like the head to the tail, it's like supposed mm -hmm. to be sweeter if you cut from like that yeah. way to this way. Yes. It's supposed yes. to like uh -huh. not release as much of the fumes and stuff. It doesn't matter to me. I am like a crying mess every single time I cut onions. It doesn't matter. I've tried the candle trick. I have tried 
you know, the the goggles and the, the nose uh, plug trick. My nose is I bigger than it all. It doesn't matter. I cry. I'm really? A, a See, dude, I, I did the TikTok thing and um, this gentleman that was saying it, I cut it just right. And I, dude, I could not believe that not one tear was shed. Oh, wow. When I was, when I was cutting it. I thought, dude, I seriously, bro, I, I, I was astounded at it. And this is how I knew, Joe, you and I are the same age, close, that I thought... <laughs> I thought some, I'm officially the old guy of like hitting all my older friends going, dude, do you not want to cry doing onions and chopping them? This is the most amazing TikTok I've ever seen in my life. And then, you know, if you're trying to do, you can't put that on a dating app because they're like, oh, really? Well, yeah, but it might work out for your neighbors. Why don't you try cutting the onions incorrectly? in front of a window that your neighbors can see and then they'll just see you sadly cutting onions and crying because yeah. you're lonely and then they'll just come over and make you food yeah it's so a great idea, man. you don't need to go to such lengths you already <laughs> set man you're getting I'm baked. already sad thanks yeah. barry thank I'm you for that barry sad. let's continue with the next story oh. then barry thank you for saying i'm sad that's great i said you were set not sad. Oh, yeah. Not mm -hmm. sad. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All yeah. right. All right. Can can I prove that we're live? Uh, why don't you do it in just a little bit? Because I want to cover. Okay. I want to talk about this uh, apartment yep. rent going right. down. Go. You guys got to oh. check this out. Okay? Oh, I want my apartment rent to go down. Because if if you're not like us and you have bad neighbors and you can't move because everything's so expensive, well, listen to this that apartment rent prices are on the verge of going negative. Our Diana Olick's watching that. Hey, Diana. Hey, Carl. Apartment rents have been cooling off sharply for several months now. They were still slightly higher year over year in August, but that may be the last of it. Take a look. Rents up just 0.28%, according to RealPage. Compare that to a year ago when rents were posting 11% annual growth. Now, with the exception of a very brief drop during the COVID lockdown, rents haven't gone negative in well over a decade. And when they did, it was due to recession hitting demand. That is not the case now. Apartment occupancies nationally are at a pretty healthy 94%, which is right along historical norms. And that's thanks to high mortgage rates combined with high home prices keeping people in the rental market. Now, the issue is just a massive amount of supply. New units this year at a 50-year high with over 400,000 units coming on just this year alone. We've talked about this a lot, over a million new units in the past three years. Oh, that's a record. And much of that supply is on the higher end. Now, renters have more options, so landlords have less pricing power as turnover increases. While rents nationally haven't gone negative yet, they have in several local markets, Austin, Phoenix, Vegas, Atlanta, and Jacksonville, Florida, seeing the biggest drops. Now, looking ahead, supply should remain high through next year, but new construction has dropped off this year due to financing and other challenges, so that may level things out. Back to you guys. Where, where are we on the buy versus rent, and which one makes more sense at this point, given what's happening with Let rent? the redhead yeah, talk. The state is local. <laughs> it, it depends on the market you're in. If you're in the pricier markets, it may pay more to rent. But with rents coming back now, you're seeing that shift that the rent versus buy may lean more toward rent. There are, of course, Midwestern markets where it's always going to be better to buy than to rent. Yeah, like Texas, right? Maybe exactly, not. exactly. Well, Texas is uh, incredibly expensive because no matter how much they build, they still raise the rent. It doesn't matter how much they build and say, well, we've built too much. There's no such thing. There's no such thing. They continue to raise the price. It is what it is.